Well, you know, this man is being called an American patriot today. Here's why. He is seen here cutting down a Mexican flag, which was flying above the Stars and Stripe over its store in Reno, Nevada. Now, on top of being disrespectful, that's also a no-no. It's illegal to fly another flag over the American flag in this country. Now reports are that he's the guy who could be charged with a crime. With us now, the man of the hour, military vet, Jim Brizard, uh, joining us as well, radio talk show host Bill Manders, who first brought this attention to uh, the nation. I want to thank you both for coming. Thank you, Neil. We appreciate it. And by the way, I'd be willing to give up my time if we could just play that Howard Dean sound by yeah. one more time. <laughs> I, we, well, actually, we might. <laughs> under, under, I love that bike. Um, Jim, what made yeah. you do this? Well, my patriotism is in my heart and in my soul. Um, I. Uh, as, as you know, I'm a vet of the United States Army, and uh, it is important to me, above all, that our country remember to be patriotic, and I was raised in that light. I, I heard on the Bill Manners show that the uh, flags were flying as, as they were. I found it uh, disturbing to the point that I had to do something about it. Uh, I grabbed my K-bar, I went down there, and I uh, left my vehicle a couple doors down. I found a TV camera rolling as I walked up. I, uh, I did what was, uh, what was in my heart. How did you get up there? I actually drove my vehicle up there uh, a couple miles from my home, actually. All right, and to the flagpole, you just yanked it down. I'm sorry, yes, I, uh, I cut the anchor cord I reeled the uh, both flags down, and then I uh, cut the uh, flag. I cut the American flag off of the uh, the post. What was the and, owner uh, of the store, Jim? What was the owner of the store doing when you were doing this? <laughs> the owner of the store was without speech. He he simply stood by and watched. Uh, I don't believe he. Uh, he knew what to respond with. He was frozen in time is what he was. <laughs> yeah, now, Bill, from what I understand, Jim is in legal hot water, not the owner of the store. That seems a little weird, but what happens now? Well, there's some talk about the charges that might be filed against him, but you know what, I, I think that would be, that's gonna be short-lived because, you know, this guy stole a flag, uh, so to speak. What we're really concerned about was stolen identity, identity theft. That's what this was all about. This is how it all started. And as you well know, Neil, this cost billions of dollars across our country to try and um, get these people's reputations back intact that had their identity stolen. And this is really the big issue. And I've been talking about this for a year, that people were not going to continue to put up with it. We've been tolerant. But it's been pushed past that that point right now. And the breaking point and, and for you, right? The breaking point for you, Jim, was when you saw that Mexican flag flying above the American. That was it, right? Yeah. Yes, I'm not going to have that in my in my on my watch. It's just not going to occur. If I need to be involved to the extent I was involved, certainly I'm ready for any consequences that might come my way. But I have oh, so right. much support out there. I'm not a Neil. I'm not, I can tell you real quick. Too, I, I that wish that we had more time, uh, Bill. I wish we had more. All right. Good job, my friend. Very well, good job. Letting a I'm a peaceful man. Well, good for you. <laughs> Letting illegals get driver's licenses. A whole nother mess in New York after this.